Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm a software engineer here at Mixpanel, and I'm super excited to demo our latest innovation in warehouse connectors, and that is Mirror. So, Mirror is a form of change data capture where we keep your Mixpanel events up to sync with what's in your warehouse. Uh, this differs from our existing time-based mode, which is append only and requires you to supply an insert time column. On each run with a time-based sync, Mixpanel will look at the insert time to determine which rows need to be added to Mixpanel as events. On the other hand, with the new mirror mode, uh, we support appends, updates, and deletes, and we keep that automatically synced with your, da with your data in Mixpanel. Uh, this, however, does require a little bit of additional source setup, which I'm going to walk through now and demo. Cool. So I'm over here in Mixpanel, and I have this Mirror Loom demo project, which I created specifically for this video. Uh, we don't have any data yet here. All I did was go in and set up my Snowflake connection. And this is what the existing flow is going to look like for your warehouse connections. Um, you'll see a section at the bottom here, Mirror, and if it's enabled, there will be a check mark, but otherwise, uh, there is going to be a notice to provide some additional setup. So if I click into this uh, and we scroll down, we'll see this section here about setting up Mirror. Um, and essentially for Snowflake, this constitutes providing us with a dedicated database and schema in which we could create streams on your Snowflake tables. Uh, for more information on Snowflake streams, you could look at Snowflake documentation, but this is essentially Snowflake's implementation of change data capture, aka CDC. So, if we go into my Snowflake tab here, uh, you'll see that I have a test stream database and a test stream schema. So, I'm going to go ahead and use that as my area to stage streams. And essentially, I'm just going to provide Mixpanel with that data. And then Mixpanel will prompt us to uh, grant some access on this uh, database and schema. So essentially, I'm just going to copy this. It grants usage on the database and the schema and gives the uh, permission to create streams um, for the Mixpanel role that was provided. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and run it in my Snowflake worksheet. And that executed successfully. And now when I press Save, uh, Mixpanel will actually validate that we did provide the correct uh, create stream permissions. So I'm going to click Save. And now we should see that Mirror is enabled for this source. So let's look at some of the data that I'd like to bring into Mixpanel now. I'm going to go back over to Snowflake, and I have this worksheet ready to go here. And I'm going to be importing this table, uh, CDC event data. So let's take a quick look at what that table looks like. And as you can see, um, this is an event table. We have a distinct ID, a uh, timestamp, a browser property. We have this garbage property, operating system, and then finally, the event name. So we're going to try to import this. But the first thing that we want to do is enable change tracking on this data on this table. Uh, this will enable Mixpanel to create a stream uh, for this table in our dedicated stream schema, and then keep track of changes as they occur as they occur to the table. So I'm going to set change tracking equals true. All right. So now that change tracking is enabled, let's go back in and create a mirror uh, a mirror event sync of this table. So I'm going to navigate back to settings, go to warehouse data, and click create a new event table. I'm going to select my source, my database, schema, see event data, and then I'm going to create my column mappings. So event name is event name, event time is the timestamp, user ID. And then finally, uh, at the bottom here, you'll see this new option for sync mode, and you'll have the option to do time-based or mirror. So I'm going to go ahead and select mirror, and as you can see, we no longer require an insert time. So I'm going to go ahead and create this and watch this get imported into Mixpanel.
Okay, it looks like that succeeded. Let's take a look at our preview to make sure the counts match up. Awesome, and it looks like they match up perfectly already. So let's go ahead and go into the events view and make sure that all the data here is present. Awesome, so I have my signup event. Um, it has all the properties I specified, the garbage, OS, uh, browser, city. Um, yeah, I have this garbage event and that all looks good. So now that I've imported my events, let's actually showcase the magic of mirror mode by going into Snowflake and changing our data. So I'm going to go back to our Snowflake and I have a worksheet ready here um, that makes a couple modifications to the table. Uh, first off, I want to drop this garbage column, so I'm just going to go ahead and run that. Then I also want to delete these garbage events. Say I accidentally track these, they're not, they're not relevant to me, I don't want them cluttering up my mixed panel project. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Uh, finally, let's say I want to add a column, some extra enrichment. This is just an arbitrary uh, lucky string column that just generates some gibberish. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the column and then set it to some random values. And then finally, say there's a new event that I want to track um, historical values for or, you know, recent values, doesn't matter. Uh, these are pretty much just looking at uh, the first week of December. So I'm just going to import this, uh, this unsubscribe event and go ahead and insert a couple rows for that. Awesome. So. Uh, let's take a look at what the uh, event table looks like now. So as you can see, the garbage column is gone. We have the lucky string. Um, our garbage event should be gone, and we should also see some of these unsubscribe events around. Yeah, cool. All right, so now that we have uh, the data updated in Snowflake, uh, let's go back to Mixpanel. And we could see if I refresh this preview, uh, the lines are likely not going to match up anymore, right? I deleted some garbage events. I added some other events with different timestamp. And we could see this, uh, this data drift happening between the warehouse and mix panel. So we have our next scheduled sync uh, ready to run in about 54 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wait and then circle back and we'll see mix panel actually uh, propagate the updates from the warehouse. All right, I'm back. Uh, about 54 minutes have passed, and now we're gonna see if our changes were actually propagated to Mixpanel. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the sync history, and it looks like our second sync here succeeded at 154, um, and the number of events imported, uh, this number represents every single modification that was made. So this is the sum of appends, uh, updates, and deletes to our events. Um, so this number is reflected there. Uh, if we go back to the preview, when I refresh this, I should see uh, my mixed panel event count uh, match what's in the warehouse currently. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. And awesome, it looks like they line up perfectly. So I'm gonna go back to my events page just to show this in action. Uh, I haven't refreshed this yet, so you can still see the garbage events. Um, we still see our garbage column. So let's go ahead and just give this a refresh. And now we can see that we no longer have our garbage event. It's been deleted. Uh, if we look at our event properties, we no longer have the garbage property. Uh, it was instead replaced with this lucky string property. And we could even look at some of the new events we added, like unsubscribe. Cool, so that basically concludes the demo. Mirror mode is a truly hands-off way to keep your data and mix panel in sync with what you have in your warehouse. So thank you for watching. We're super excited and proud of this feature and we're excited to get it in the hands of customers soon. So stay tuned for the beta. Thank you.